Hey guys. It's Friday. I've gone to work out three times this week. I will be going tomorrow to meet with Legolas. And we did. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We did the elliptical. But we will be doing something. Perhaps it will involve swimming. We wanted to swim. But it was really busy. And there was this weird guy in the whirlpool. He kept talking to us. And we didn't like it. No. I had a really, really busy week. Monday I had a ton of errands to run. I ran the risk of being late to an online appointment by going to work out. Or I actually chronicled that day in a vlog that you can see on my creative blog. Tuesdays are usually hard. I had a women's thing to go to in the morning and in the evening I had my writer's group so it would have been too cramped to try to go work out. Wednesday we had a play date with my daughter, my son, plus another three girls. It was insane, but fun. Thursday went in the morning because my daughter had a musical, two performances, and ended up being a really long day. Actually had to forego doing some work so that I could make it to the gym. And see, this is that thing that I've been talking about, is having to give up time to other things so that I can make time to work out. That has been more than frustrating. Friday, we did have snow, a lot of snow, enough to cancel school, but it turned into wet, slushy stuff, so town wasn't shutting down like it was last week. <laughs> Why I just spent two minutes to tell you about my week, I have no idea. I've been changing my routine a little bit. I have been doing the elliptical with the arms, and using my music instead of reading. I finally finished reading Dracula. That's the longest I've ever had a library book in my life. And I increased my time to 35 minutes, which with the cool down, it ends up being 40 minutes on the elliptical. And then I end up burning about 500 calories, which makes me happy. I've also been showering at the gym, which has really improved my complexion. There is no shower better than the shower that you take after you have been sweating. I have a couple things to say about... If you're a boy, you should look away now. Women's locker rooms. Are you looking away? Look away! Right, ladies. At least mute the sound. If you're in a gym locker room and you're naked, the only things that you should be doing are either one, in the shower showering, or two, getting dressed as quickly as possible. And when you're getting dressed, we should not be facing towards the entrance where People who are just coming into the locker room can see you immediately. Uh. Have a little modesty, for goodness sake, and turn toward the locker and just get dressed quickly. Don't stand around and talk to your best friend while you're naked. Uh. That's just not a good idea. And it doesn't make other people feel very comfortable. Ah. That's just my little rant on women's locker room. One more week and I'm going to weigh myself. I'm kind of excited to do that. Though I'm curious what my weight is, I'm not so hung up on it that I think about it every day, which is what I think a lot of weight loss industries for women do, is they make you think about your weight a lot. Sometimes they make you feel guilty about gaining a quarter of a pound. I may get up the courage to actually tell you what I weigh, but I may not. We'll see. Either way, I'll let you know what the number is that I have lost, because I'm very certain that I lost. Thanks again for commenting. I really appreciate all of the comments that you guys make on my videos. You guys are awesome. Any encouragement is always welcome. Just making these videos is accountability to me. It makes me want to go and reach my goal of four times a week so that I can let you guys know that I did it. Until next week.
have a great seven days. Yep, Sorry. just go. I'll cut out the parts where okay. we're moving around. I think it's really funny that right next to 24 Hour Fitness is Del Taco, which is also open 24 hours. <laughs>